Hey y'all, Justin with Kayak Catfish. Well, it is tournament day on the Ohio River. And when I do these kayak catfishing tournaments, I like to bring you all with me. I'll show you my tournament strategy, what went right, what went wrong. You see it all start to finish. And so today, we got a big stretch of the Ohio River that's open to us. The tournament boundaries are from a place called, I think it's pronounced Meldal Dam. Don't eat me alive in the comment box. I ain't from around here, folks. But we've got access from that dam down to Markland Dam, which is like a 90 some odd mile stretch of the river. The only catch is we gotta use public access launches and we have to be back to our tournament check-in by 5 p.m. today. Our tournament hours are from eight to four and we've got an hour to make it back to check-in, which is in Rising Sun, Indiana. So my strategy is i'm going to fish pretty close to where our check-in spots at that way i don't have to leave the water early to get back i'm going to be able to have lines in from the whole eight hours of a tournament here and so i'm, I'm fishing basically a big river bend here as we got a barge coming up first thing this morning i'm going to take this outside bend and just kind of work the edge of the channel all the way around i come up earlier this week my first time ever fishing the ohio river and i fished this stretch got several fish got some good quality fish so i said you know what tournament day i'm gonna go right back here and try to hit it again see if we can replicate it right so the the scoring for this tournament our kayak catfishing tournaments they go by length not weight we have a measuring board it's been approved by the tournament director we get a picture date time and gps stamp on that board and submit it to a live leaderboard and it's going to score our three longest catfish that's blue cats flatheads or channel cats in any combination so it's gonna be a fun day y'all hopefully we're gonna get some good fish and stick it to these these fellas that live up here by gosh that's what i want to do anyway so we got a few more minutes before lines in i'm gonna suspend baits today we're gonna to drag baits today we're gonna to cover water most importantly we're gonna have some fun today y'all so come with me let's go see what we can do in this tournament well it is 8 a.m time to clock in and get to work y'all let's get these baits down here my suspended rods here we've got carolina rigs down to a 10 ounce size circle hook with a catfish sumo bait stalker fly under that's a skipjack chunk on that rod i'm going to do a head and chunk off the front of the kayak suspended and then i'm going to drag a head and a chunk off the back of the kayak as we move along uh, the current flow out here this morning very light it's like maybe 0.3 at the fastest so I'm going to just work my way down river with the current and supplement my speed to keep myself around a half a mile an hour. So here's the skipjack head on my suspended rig. Get it down and then we're going to get these dragging rigs out. So my dragging rig here, we've got 40 pound monofilament down to a three-way swivel. I've got my dragging sinkers. You can learn how to make these down in my video description. There's a link down there. Very simple, cheap, easy to do. But we've got 80 pound monofilament leader running off of that down to a three inch peg float and rattle. And finally down to my 10 aught size hook and a skipjack head on this one. And I'm just gonna let out some line as we move down through here. And on this side of the kayak, we got the same exact rig, but with a body section. And we're gonna, as I knock my shoulder motor handle off up there, dadgummit, batting a thousand already. Well, that's gonna be the, the bait setup for now. Now, as we make our way through the day, again, this is a three fish limit. Once I get my limit, assuming we do, boy, I sure hope we do, then I'm gonna probably switch out one of these body chunks, maybe both of them, for more head baits. Earlier in the week, caught more fish on the body sections, but my biggest fish came on the head, so once we get our limit, I'm probably gonna start swinging for the fences the rest of the day after that. Got a fish on right there, just like that, man. Oh, he's pulling too, buddy. He's a pulling. Let's get fish number one in here, y'all. Let's get on the board. Get the skunk out first thing. 45 feet right here. That's on the the chunk bait of skipjack right there, suspended. Yeah, man, we're a few minutes in here. Already hooked up fish number one. That's a good sign. My practice day, it took me like an hour and a half, two hours to get my first fish. Yeah, there we go, buddy. Skunk buster. Come on in, Blue Kitty. He's throwing our bait off. I'm gonna grab another piece of skipjack and put on this hook before we get him on the board and get our pictures and everything. 
here's our next piece of skipjack it's got part of a shad that's half digested hanging out that's like two baits in one right there <laughs> we'll send it back down and then we'll get this fish here on our board all right y'all that one there's about 28 inches been uncooperative as all get out man he does not want to lay there on that board for nothing hey you know what that's fish number one no skunk today y'all here we go fish there's a fish fish number two we about to have to do some course correcting here y'all i got another kayaker in front of me that's pulling boards coming toward me and another boat to the left of him i don't know if they're anchored or pulling boards i don't think i mentioned in the intro there's a boat tournament out here today it's a huge tournament it's got 184 boats in it so inevitably we're going to get in the boaters ways they're going to get in our way <laughs> you've got that many people it's impossible for us all to work around each other but we do have another fish here number two toward our limit another one on the suspended bait let's bring him on in a little bit smaller than the last one but again i'll take it man i'll take anything till i get my my limit yeah that one there folks but 24 and a half inches he's not going to do anything for us if he's on our score at the end of the day we're in big trouble but the biggest biggest challenge right now is just finding unfished water there's literally there's a boat right here to my left which i don't know if is i think he's pulling boards i see kayaker right up here in front of me that's pulling boards and there's another boat kind of in between down through here so uh Apparently I've picked a very popular area to fish, but again, I don't, I don't anywhere out here that you would want to fish, probably going to have people all over it today. So unfortunate how that has worked out, but it is what it is. We just got to roll with it. Oh, I got a fish on and a snag behind me. <laughs> Let's reel in the fish first. We'll work on the snag. I got a spot locked right here. Dead gummit. Them snags always come at the worst time. Get this one up and we'll see if he's hooked good. I'll put the rod back and rod on or see if we can work it free. Let's see what we got here. He don't feel too bad. Yeah, not a bad blue. That's another one on the suspended bait. All right, come on in, kitty. Well, he's gonna complete our limit. I gotta work on getting this other rod unsnagged behind me here. You sit there and, you sit there and behave a minute, kitty. I mean it now. We got big things happening here. Damn gummit, I hate that I'm snags. I just worked my way around. There's a boat over here. I just went by three more, worked all the way around them. Finally had some open water here. Okay, there it come. <laughs> Finally had some open water. I'll be doggone to get a snack. We got us another fish. All right, that one there, about 26 and three quarter inches. So another dink, but that knocks out my limit. Now, let's work on getting spun back around here and getting back on the move. I, I uh, hit the spot lock there when that fish hit the rod and I got snagged and the wind and the current here has spun me around. So we're gonna have to just reel up. It's probably time to replace all my baits anyway. So we'll do that and then get back on the move here and i thought i had me some open water but here comes another boat with some planer boards and another one behind him it looks like covered up out here y'all there's those two another kayaker boat 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 and i'd went around another kayaker on the way down through here too man this is a popular area apparently but catching some fish i think we got another one on right here y'all we do we do that's on another on that chunk man i switched out I put another head bait on my dragging rod. Just trying to swing for the fences now that we got our limit. But I kept one chunk out because, well, that's what's been getting our fish. The suspended chunk has been getting it done. So we're gonna we're gonna keep rolling with it until it stops working. But I do need a better quality fish, at least one at some point in time because none of the fish on my score are and this one ain't gonna be one of them either none of them are very good well, that'll upgrade one of my fish there that one's 26 and three quarters so still 
not as big as what I need, but that is a, another fish, another another little upgrade. So I'm gonna just uh, stay the course here, y'all. I'm gonna show you here. I don't know if you can see. I've, I've got some distance between me and the boats now, but man, there was a whole damn line of boats working up this ledge. They're all pulling planer boards going against the current. I, the current's very light. Um, the wind's blowing harder than the current, but I've been going this direction. And so, uh, you know, with the current, dragging to, suspending, all of my fish now have come suspended. So uh, I don't know if that's making a difference or not, but as I've went by and come up on these other boats, I ain't seen none of them catching any fish. So we'll see. We'll see how it shakes out at the end of the day, but I am happy to be catching some fish. We just got to find a way to get some better quality. Oh, look at the fish one right there, y'all. Got fish on. I was getting a snack. I got my mouth full, y'all. Bear with me. I stopped at Bucky's on the way up here. Cause ain't no road trip complete. That was stopped at Bucky's. So I got a mouth full of a mouth full of nuts right now. We got another fish here, 57 feet deep. That was a nice boater right there. He slowed down, idled all the way through me and this other guy. That was very courteous. You don't see that very often. I like to point out something courteous happening because I'm always complaining in my videos about the, the rude and disrespectful boaters. It's so rare to see somebody like that. Oh, oh, crap. Let's set this one back a second. I got my other one hung over here. I come up a little shallow. Come on out of that. Okay, we got that one free. Okay. Now let's get this one. Moving up shallow, that wind is blowing me. Let me get back over here a second. Get myself repositioned before we land this thing. Let me get my nuts out of the way too. I don't want that fish splashing water down in my in my bag there, doggone it. All right, fish, come on in. We'll throw him on the board here. I don't know if he's gonna help us or not. We're going to find out. Well, that one there, slight upgrade, 27 inches. So that'll give us an extra quarter inch. So we get him on out of here. I'll take it by gosh. Every quarter, half inch, it all counts today. But I'm just staying the course, man. I'm letting the wind kind of push me. It's moving me like 0 0.5, 0 0.6. Not really able to drag two baits right now because it's kind of spinning the back of my kayak around. So what I'm doing is I'm suspending two still off the front. And I'm dragging this one over here off the side. I've got this one reeled up for the time being, but I'm just letting this wind push me down. My thought coming out here today was that I would, I would work my way down a stretch of this ledge uh, downstream first thing, and then turn and come back up. But with all these boats going up river, I'm just going to be pulling over used water at this point if I do that. And I was thinking too with this boat tournament. It's a two day event and we're fishing the second day of their tournament with this area getting pounded so hard today. I have to believe it was probably pounded really hard yesterday too. So any fish that were caught here, and again, earlier in the week, I got on some good fish here, got several fish in this area. Those fish were probably caught and taken to their weigh in and released there yesterday. So this area could have very well been picked pretty clean by now, but you know what? We're still getting bit. So I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. It's working. And hopefully some point down through here, we're going to stumble into a big one. So it's 1023. We're a little over two hours into the tournament. And the leaderboard right now has Jeremiah Lord hooked on phonics. Couldn't help me pronounce his last name, but he's got 88 and a quarter inches. I'm in second place with 81 and three quarter inches. And right now, Big Fish is also Jeremiah with 33 and a quarter. So still early on, still anybody's ball game out here. I've actually slid over and went higher up, kind of on the top shelf here of this ledge. Right now, I'm 36 feet deep. I'm gonna try fishing shallow a little while. I mainly wanted to move because I was up there right beside another dang boat and they were working downstream also. They were kind of like on one side of that channel and I'm on the other. You know, we were both 60 something feet deep there and y'all know I don't like talking on camera 
around people. I'm weird like that. And so even though I'm fishing a tournament today, I'm also filming a tournament today. I'm going to be able to talk to y'all. So I'm going to try it up here a little bit shallower, just see what happens. I caught a big fish on my practice day uh, in the evening, right before dark, dragging against the current back up uh, up river here on this on this top of this ledge here right before it starts to go off so we'll uh we'll see what this does for us give it a little time if it don't pan out well we'll get back out there to deeper depths that one's going down right there man we got another one y'all it's been a long time a long time since i've had a bite i think it's almost noon now this one's ate a suspended bait a chunk man i left a chunk out i'm currently trolling into the current about a half a mile an hour which again the current's very light these suspended baits are kind of up in the water column because i'm going into the flow but i've left it out because it's the only way i can get a bite and by gosh we got another one i don't think he's going to be an upgrade though i don't think he's going to help us so he ended up being 27 inches, which I believe is about a quarter inch upgrade. And he's kicking my tail here. These dang small fish, man, they, they never want to behave and cooperate on that board. Get him out of here. But uh, yeah, y'all, it's been a, a grind the last couple hours. I kept working my way downstream there. Just nothing going on. Not seeing anything on the graph, not catching anything. So I turned. I reeled up everything, switched out my baits, and now I'm working kind of back up this direction, going into the current, dragging a couple off the back and, and suspending off the front. It's, the wind is blowing downstream with the current. So going this direction makes it easy to control my speed, which is a good thing, but I don't know if you can see the angle there on my line when you're trying to suspend baits and you're trolling into the current. It's kind of hard to control your depth on the suspended baits, but the suspended baits is what's caught me fish today. So I wanted to leave them out and just try to, you know, try to try to play the angle so I can keep my baits there two or three feet off bottom. But I'm gonna work my way back up this ledge where I was catching fish the other day and then uh, do that until I get up to, I, I don't know, maybe two o'clock this afternoon and then we'll drift back down and. <laughs> we'll see we'll just keep working this area man that's all i know to do is this is where i caught fish the other day i kind of committed myself to this spot when i come out here today even with the you know the boats and stuff because it's in a kayak you, you just can't you don't have an outboard you know you can't crank up and run 50 miles an hour to the next spot if i take out of here go hit a different boat ramp i've lost a ton of time on the water so i think it's best to just keep working this area where i was getting fish the other day and hope for the best so i just got my other fish submitted it did upgrade my score by a quarter of an inch but i have fallen down the leaderboard we're right here at the halfway mark of the tournament 11:55. jeremiah is still in the lead he's added to his lead there he's at 92 and a half inches but i've fallen down to fifth with 82 inches and you can see here from second to fifth we were separated by two and a half inches right there so it's it's a battle of the dinks today but still a lot of time left so it's anybody's game still look right here that dang rod man that one is the popular rod today that chunk just keeps getting bit that is all they have wanted today a dang suspended chunk but can we find one big enough to improve our score that is the question here i did thought i was going to switch everything over to head baits at some point today i may switch them all over to chunks before it's said and done make some progress on us here any improvement in our score at all would be would be a boost there's so many of us there just a couple inches away from each other a slight upgrade could mean the difference between cashing and not and this one's this one's fired up's what he is but i don't think he's going to help us i don't think he is folks we're going to put him on the board and find out there grab him right quick because i don't think he's hooked very good well maybe he's hooked better than i thought <laughs> i saw that hook kind of dangling there i said i better grab him real fast just in case all right, folks, that one's 28 and a quarter inches. So 
inch and a quarter update buddy i mean that's that's big when you're this tight up at the top that's huge so i'll take it i'm happy with that get on out of here you old fat thing i'm gonna cut another chunk up man this has been the winning bait for me today it may not win me any money in this tournament but it's been a winner for catching fish and i may you know we're we're a long ways in this tournament i can't buy a fish on them dragon baits i'm thinking about switching all them over just switch everything over to suspended and just go for it today man because the the dragon i mean i can't believe i ain't caught a single fish not had a bite or anything on them dragon rigs but i haven't this suspended chunk has been what's well, got it all done so we may just switch everything over and try to go all suspended back rod back rod we finally got a different rod hip <laughs> now this is a suspended bait i switched over my dragging rigs to suspended we're going all suspended rest of the day since that's what's working that's what we're going with we're going to try to increase our odds here this one ate a chunk i got out one head three chunks right now get this one up here i don't think he's gonna be an improvement but we'll get a look at him and find out yeah i'm gonna throw him on the board but i don't i don't think he's gonna do nothing for us no that one there he might graze 27 inches but that's our smallest fish on the scoreboard right now so he ain't gonna ain't gonna be an upgrade get out of here you old fish well for those of you who are still watching to this point in the video first off thanks but if you have stuck around this long you're pretty much committed at this point you might as well just go ahead and watch a whole daggone thing but if you are and you're curious on the standings here's you another leaderboard update so it's currently 2 28 p.m so we got basically an hour and a half left to fish jeremiah is still in the lead with 92 and a half inches i have fallen down to seventh place with 83 and a quarter inches but while i have fallen in the standings i haven't really fallen that much in overall inches that's what's crazy about this everybody's catching small fish today so one good fish i mean one just good fish not even great a good fish what i call fun size you know something 34 to 36 37 inches it could go i mean just propel me several spots up and that's the case not just with me but with all of us here that are kind of bunched up together just a few inches apart so they're still plenty of time for anything to happen in the standings but uh it's it's just a grind man it's been an absolute grind today i've moved made a run up here up this ledge i saw an opening there was no boats here there was no kayaks here it looked like wide open water and i said you know what there's a chance maybe these fish up here ain't seen a bait in 10 or 15 minutes i'm gonna go see what, what's going on so i'm currently drifting just drifting downstream with basically the wind the current is very light still but the wind is moving us along 0 0.5 0 0.6 a little quicker when it gusts i've got all four rods suspended now suspending baits is all i've been able to catch a fish on today so that's what we're rolling with here in the final stretch so i'm just gonna drift this ledge i'm just gonna work it down through here and see what happens and hopefully climb up into one of those money spots if i can luck into a good fish and i don't know if i mentioned it or not earlier in the video if i did disregard if not and you're curious about the payouts of this tournament that was my I, I i thought a rod got hit it was bouncing in the wake <laughs> i'm seeing ghost bites out here but uh, the payouts this tournament first place pays two thousand dollars second place a thousand third place was either four or five hundred dollars and then big fish 750 and in addition to the payouts for the individual tournament this is our last tournament of the season, so it's going to determine the angler of the year. And coming into today, Ryan Bortz was leading the AOI race. I was in second place. Now, Ryan, I think Ryan, let's check the board on him here. He's in sixth place right now, so he's down there with me. So who knows what's going to happen in the AOI race. It is wide open right now for that as well. But the AOI points leader, the top three in that, get a check so there's still a chance y'all even if i crap the bed 
in today's tournament. There's still a chance with the AOI standings and how those shake out that I could still walk out of here getting paid, as crazy as that is. But anyway, y'all, I'm going to quit flapping my gums, kick back, and drift my way down this ledge. Got something happening here on this back rod. Let's reel this one in here. Spot locked here a second while we deal with this. I don't think he's going to be an upgrade though. I only need something bigger than 27 inches to upgrade. But that's easier said than done today. Yeah, that one right there definitely ain't gonna ain't gonna cut the mustard as they say. At least he left me the bait on. That was nice of him. It's the least you can do for me, fish. There. Oh, we got this one going down. Let's let that one go. That one's a better takedown right there, it looks like. All right. Business picked up here. That's a... Oh, my gosh. And he just come free. He just come free. Stole my bait, too, man. Crap. That was on a head bait. That's the first time a head bait has been hit today. It felt like a better fish too. Just ripped the dang head off. All right, we got to rebait right quick, y'all. Business picked up. I may get another one here, y'all. Let's reel it in. As the barge goes by. Seen a bunch of them today. Seen a bunch of them boats over there. They heading back to their way in, I reckon. But we ain't seen a whole lot of fish, have we? That there ain't the fly. Got one on a stinger fly, y'all, but definitely ain't gonna be an upgrade. Where's your, where's your bigger kinfolk at, fish? As you get my line all tangled up. This fish ain't gonna tell me. He said he'd never rat out his friends. Well, look that, he twisted my line all to Hades right there at the, at the dang kayak, man. There we go. I'm gonna drop that back down right quick, y'all. We're in the final 30 minutes here. We're in the home stretch of this thing. All right, guys, it is four o'clock. It is over. We got a new leader at the top of the scoreboard. John Ratliff caught a fish in the final hour there, put him at 92 and three quarters inches, a quarter inch above Jeremiah and Brandon Hunter there. So he's gonna take home the win. I am down in eighth place, so I just could not move up the leaderboard for anything. Big fish, 34 and a quarter inches to Aussie Dangerous. What a name that is. How about that? But uh, just one of them days for me, y'all, but it ain't all bad news. Because even though I didn't do worth a diddly poo in the tournament today, things worked out for me to take home a little money. So Ryan Bortz, he was ahead of me in the AOI race coming into this. He's gonna stay ahead of me. Congrats to Ryan Bortz, Angler of the Year. Well deserved on his part. He has earned it. He's gonna get 1,800 and some odd dollars for that prize. Now again, I think I mentioned before, the AOI race pays out three spots in our, in our tournament club here. So I'm gonna finish in second on that, which is gonna pay me 780 some odd dollars. So wish I could have got to win today, but I'm at least going home with a little more cash that I came up here with. They, they call that a moral victory, folks, and by gosh, I'll take it. So anyway, I'm headed off the water now. I'm going to go congratulate everybody, and then I'm going to take it back to Tennessee. I'd say it's been fun, but, well, most of you all in my audience are men, and I only lie to women, so <laughs> it's just been one of them days. But I'll see you next time. Hope you enjoyed it.